What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ken Birdsall here at KB Cars. I'm at my home store of Spitzer Chevrolet in Amherst, Ohio. And I've got some great news. As you can see behind me, we got another 2020 C8 Corvette. This thing is awesome. It's a nice 2LT. We also got a nice 3LT. I'm going to cover that in another video. Let's stick around. I'm going to show you all about this one. Again, welcome back to the channel. Ken Burtzall here from KB Cars, and I work at Spitzer Chevrolet in Amherst, Ohio. Another, this is our third 2020 Corvette that has shown up. Our fourth one, right behind it, going tomorrow morning. This one, the guest is out of town, so I uh, said keep it on the showroom for a few days until he gets back. But uh, it is not for sale, so don't call on that one. We are out of 2020 uh, allocations. Uh, matter of fact, most, uh, because some of you are aware, uh, GM changed that, our allocations, some of those orders are going to get bumped to 2021s. Uh, we should know later this month and in the next couple weeks which ones exactly are getting moved on that. But uh, this one is a nice 2LT in the Sebring orange tin coat. Um, it does have the sky cool gray interior. We'll cover a little bit more of that later. Just want to give you guys a walk around. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top right hand corner. Turn on those bell notifications. If you have any questions, comment down below uh, or send me an email. I'll be glad to help you guys. You can reach me here at the dealership at 440-988-4444. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm not going to go into every little detail on this car and how every single thing works. I've got other videos for that. I know you guys have checked, you know, you can check them out on my channel there. Uh, but just specifically what's going on with this one. This is really, really nice. A third one to hit the ground here. Uh, it's got the Z51 performance package, which means it gets a Z51 performance brakes. You can see it on the calipers right there. Also gets a uh, Z51 performance suspension. A little stiffer there. Performance exhaust. Give you guys a cold start here in a second. Uh, performance rear axle ratio. Electronic limited slip differential. This Z51 spoiler. Which this one's body colored. I like this. Goes right in with it. Um, run flat tires and a heavy duty cooling system. Now these wheels, we still got to put the center caps on. This one has not been PDI'd yet. So I do have a video on the PDI process. This one has not gone through it. We just kept it inside for right now. But again, they are 19 inch front, 20 inch rear. Uh, these are the carbon flash payment painted aluminum wheels with the machined edge there. Um, these are a 995 upgrade from the stock wheels. Uh, well worth it. I really like the look of these things. So let's talk about what comes in that 2LT package. What separates that from your base 1LT that's 60 grand and what's worth that like $7,300 extra that you pay. I'll show you the window sticker, but we'll go into this a little bit more in depth. As you can see here, it's a $76,275 all the different things that are involved in that 2LT package. Some of those things are like the front curb view cameras, which we'll pick out right there. There's one here and also one on that side. That plays into your performance data recorder as well. You have your rear camera mirror. We'll look at that on the inside here in a little bit. It's not the same as your backup camera. Backup cameras back here, rear camera mirror, this is what's hiding right in the center right there. And that ties into your rear, rear view camera. 
and changing the look of that. You also get heads up display, good way to look and see on the outside without having to get in the car, does it have that? Is this whole box right here. That's your heads up display. We'll check that out on the inside. Um, your power or your uh, outside mirror for your driver's side is also auto dimming. I don't know if you can quite catch it in the video. There's a little line that goes around. That's another way to see if it's got this package. Also has rear cross traffic alert. Those are those little sensors that you'll see across the back, like right here. And going back to that mirror again real quick, your side blind zone alert is part of that, and which in this car, I highly recommend it. It's a huge package. We'll cover more about what's going inside in a second. Let's check out the inside of this. So your release right under here, you just have to go behind. Uh, I love this new release right underneath there. Check out some of my other videos if you ever get locked out. Uh, I'll show you how to do everything. Power locks, windows, mirrors. Down here your front, front trunk release and your back engine release. We'll look, take a look at that. Your memory settings, that's all part of your um, uh, 2LT package here. Takes you, your Bose speakers from 10 to 14. Again, power window side. Ooh, power folding mirrors look at that all right we'll take a look inside of here heads up display uh, these vents are so so small <laughs> they are the smallest in the industry now this again is that sky cool gray he did not go for the two-tone interior if you remember the first one we got in it did have but we're leaving this on here try to cover up and protect those seats as best as possible but they're heated and ventilated that's part of your 2lt package as well down below it's a little bit hard to see but uh, lumbar support and power bolsters is also part of that 2lt package as well uh, if we jump in here heated steering wheel is part of that i'm going to turn on accessory mode here everything's push button start and uh, there we go hold that for about eight seconds there Close this. All right. So check this out. Look at this cruise control over here. Your paddle shifters here. Uh, you've got your radio favorites here. Volume control up and down. Heated steering wheel. Voice commands. This will change everything. Look at that driver information center. It's huge. All digital. All digital. We can scroll through different things. I'm not going to go through all that. You guys have seen this before. You can check out my other videos on it. Navigation's built in. That's part of that 2LT package. Um, the performance data recorder. Again, it uses those two front cameras on there. Uh, this is really sweet. Hopefully, I can get a video on that. Just that later down the road. Um, cameras. Super cool. You can use this physical home button here. There's a second home screen. So, you have your navigation and radio showing on there. Right there is your rear camera mirror that we talked about on the outside, what it normally looks like, what that looks like, all your OnStar settings up above, hazards, shifting controls. This one, so this does not have the front lift or magnetic ride control. The front lift would be a button up here as well, but you can hit that button and it'll show you those front cameras. You can change through all those different camera mirrors as well we'll hit the home button take us back there your mode selector cup holder here it's actually kind of nice i'm not the biggest fan of the of this color interior but i really like having two-tone anywhere two-tone i think looks good nice white stitching in there uh, leather wrap steering wheel all your hvac controls right along here glove box opens up by the button in the middle And wireless charging pad is right back here. That's also part of the 2LT package. We'll go check out the engine here next. Actually, before I do that, I know you're like, whoa, you went to the front, but the engine's not supposed to be in the front. It's not in the front. I wanna show you the front trunk, or as they call it, the frunk. So there's an electronic release there. This lifts right up. Lots of room down in here. It's a little bit hard to see. Um, 
but you do have the charger. So like if you want to put the, your tender on there, you can plug it right in there. I believe he did get that on this too. And then when you close it, let it down, one click, two clicks. That's all it is, don't let it slam. All right, let's check out that engine. So under the E in Corvette, there's electronic release. This will lift up. As I pointed out in my other videos, this actually does push up a little bit further. Gives you about another foot of clearance. So if you're working on this, obviously it's gonna be really hard to get to um, if you do anything from the top end. But that little extra clearance will help you out. This trunk, we've got the wrap in there. He did request that he keeps uh, the wrap that it came in. Get those hooks off there, but check out, it's pretty deep. A lot of room, and obviously that top comes off. This is the coupe, so you can take it off, slide it back in here, and this will snap in place to help protect it there. So you close it down, just like before, just get it started, and then that electronic goes. Just check out, like, I love the way the, the Stingray pops Corvette pops off of this orange. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but this, this is a fantastic look. One last thing I forgot to point out is these orange seat belts. So there's some different colors that you can get if you've seen them in the guide. Orange, this is the first time I've seen anybody get like a different color seat belt. It really, really stands out against this, this sky cool um, interior. So it really, I mean, this really pops. It goes well. Um, that is a 395 option if you do want to get that, but just a cool build. All right, guys, that's it. I said I was going to keep it short. It's our third C8 Corvette that has hit the lot here. It's right here at Spitzer Chevrolet in Amherst, Ohio. We are a Corvette destination store. So if you or somebody you know is in the market for one, we are taking orders on 2021s. Let you know we've got about a dozen of those already in, uh, but we're hoping to see no issues with the 2021s and hopefully those will just roll out smoothly. Again, make sure you check out my channel. I'll have this uh, 3LT video up very shortly as well. And uh, if you, again, if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the top right hand corner, turn on those bell notifications and let me know if you guys have any questions. Stay safe and we'll catch you guys later.